professor, I would test you in the worst way. Don't bring a scantron, it's pop quizzes all day. Cause of our chemistry, we do biology. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. Shout out to Teddy Bridgewater, man. I oh, bet I wish you were still with the Saints. We miss you, Teddy, man. We miss you, dog. Why you had to leave us? Why you had to leave us? Anyway, anyway, you know, but I'm 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 happy for him and his comeback and his career and making the best out of that situation. I'm happy for Teddy Bridgewater. But he he was in the news recently for saying, you know, for putting a post out saying, you know, you athletes need to stop acting like or trying to emulate gangsters. Cause they got younger kids looking up to him. And this, that, and the third. And and stop trying to take on a gangster image. And this is the, this, this is what gets me, you know, about athletes now. And even rappers. Y'all not that. Stop bullshitting. They're not like y'all ain't running around here like Aaron Hernandez. Now there's a couple of people. <laughs> that I will not mention, who were are and were professional athletes, you better watch it with them. And they can tell you that all the people who around them posing and, and BSing, like, they not that. You know, guys are like, I'm an athlete, basketball players, I'm huge, so I got a bunch of tattoos. Sit your puss ass, sit your puss ass down, man. You, you a hooper. Hoop. Stop running around like you beating everybody ass. You a hooper. Hoop. You're not, a, you're not a gangster. You're not a killer. And even some of y'all who've been in gangs and around gangsters, y'all too big to be gangsters. Especially basketball players. You're too big to be gangsters. You stand out. You you can't, you can't. <laughs> yeah, man, he was six foot five. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know who that was? Man, that's such a, man, that's the only six foot five dude we know. He hoop, he hoop at the school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him. You got to be smaller to be a gangster, man. You can't, mm -mm. you can't be an athlete and stand out like that. You a target. And even gangsters will tell you, bro, what are you doing here? Like, what are you doing? I'm just trying, I'm just trying to be down for the set. But if y'all don't get this stupid mother. So let's let's take this a little bit further. See, a lot of y'all playing the, the tattoo game because you're trying to have that image. A lot of y'all started braiding your hair and growing your hair because you're trying to look like a thug. Let me tell y'all how many... 90% of athletes can't fight. That's just, just, just for the record. Football players are thumpers. Some of them are thumpers. Most of them can't fight. They can they can play they can play football. Basketball players, most of them can't fight. Just because they're bigger than average people, you know, and they can look intimidating. It's the reason why in the NFL people are scared of Steve Smith. Because he could fight. And Steve Smith was what, 5'8, 5'9, 180, 190, and he was clocking folks. Everybody who's talking all that, uh, 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 all that yapping, they not really built like that. They not. And I'm glad Teddy called that out because y'all, y'all running around here acting like y'all. Let me tell y'all. If I could say, if I could walk around and say, okay, let me think. Give me five athletes right now that I, I would bet could fight. They'd be vastly different, vast. Who really about it? If he was still playing, Zach Randolph, <laughs> I'd say him. Uh, Cam Newton, even though I make fun of him, I done seen Cam Newton walk up on way too many people. He really he really about that. He might be dressing funny, but I don't think he want no problems with Cam. I'm just, just, just for the record. I don't think he want no problems with Cam. Steve, I done seen Steve Smith punk too many people. Take him right now to this day. To this day. Uh... I'll take Chad Johnson, Ocho, and he retired. I'll take Ocho, you know. And <clears throat> what's the old boy name? Eric Fisher. 
I wouldn't piss him off. <laughs> Let's just say that. I wouldn't piss him. I seen Eric Fisher do some shit. I'm like, watch that. Watch that boy. That big boy crazy. He owned one. So, you know, or, or, or Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones. Definitely taking John Jones's brother. I'll take the other brother too. And I'm going to tell you why I'm saying what I'm saying. Because y'all assuming, you know, this, this gangster image is an image. These motherfuckers ain't built for jail. They ain't built to be getting shot at. They not like that. A lot of people who, who say they come from the hood. A lot of the athletes who come from the hood. They were coddled. Being a great athlete. Got them a lot of passes that everybody who's from that same neighborhood did not get. They didn't have it hard like the other people had it hard. So they playing right now. Then you got people from who who from the suburbs or close to the hood or played at the hood school who now they grown and now they trying to hold a hood image. You was never that. You was never that. Stop. Cause now you got kids blowing it because just because they want to look a certain way. That look don't mean shit in real life, bro. You gonna get your head knocked off. And he's he, and don't let these athletes fool you. Like I'm a G. I'm a no. They not. Let let one of these leagues start finding them. They gonna start crying. Let them have a cr contract dispute. They ain't gonna get gangstered in it. Why are you doing this to me, man? They ain't banging on. They ain't banging on ownership. These the same motherfuckers in the NFL fought to to get, to get weed. You know, to to get weed tested. How can I say this? They fought to make sure they won't get banned for weed, and they skipped over guaranteed contracts. These some stupid motherfuckers. You know what? That's not gangster. That's drug addict shit. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace.